Yo, what is going on guys? It is Jacob Fett here, and today I'm back with a brand new fan fiction. Today's fan fiction is going to be following the story of Luke Skywalker if he left Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru on Tatooine and joined the Imperial Academy. Alright, let's get into it. We find ourselves at the Lars homestead on the planet of Tatooine, where a 19 year old Luke is coming home from a long day of working on the moisture farm. He sits down with Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru for dinner, where Luke tells Owen that he wants to transmit his application to the Imperial Academy this year. Owen tells Luke that the harvest is when he needs him the most, and that he needs him to stay for one more season and he can transmit his application next year. Basically the same as what happened in A New Hope, we're following that story so far. Luke gets up from the table and walks off going outside, where he looks off into the iconic binary sunset not knowing what his future holds. That night, Luke knew that he was meant for greater things. He was dreaming of all the things he could do as an Imperial pilot if Uncle Owen let him go to the Academy. It's been the thing he's wanted to do for years now, and he saw an opportunity to take it. When Owen and Baru went to sleep that night, Luke got up and headed straight for a speeder. As he was driving away from his house, Luke saw a shadow in front of him. As he sped past the dark figure, the man yelled, Luke, wait. Luke looked back and saw old Ben standing in the trail of the speeder. Luke was confused. Why would Ben try to stop him from leaving, and how did he even know? But Luke didn't second guess it. All he could focus on is leaving and getting to the academy. He finished his ride to the Moss Eisley spaceport, where his friend Biggs, who was home from the academy, was waiting for him. Luke and Biggs catch the first shuttle out of Moss Eisley. As they go into hyperspace, they start to talk about their plans for the future. Biggs tells Luke that he may go join the Rebellion with a couple other people at the Academy. Luke tells him that he should stay at the Academy with him. Biggs tells him that he'll have to think about it. As the shuttle is coming out of hyperspace, Luke asks Biggs where they're going. Biggs tells him the Royal Imperial Academy on Coruscant. That academy was regarded as the most prestigious of the Empire's network of Imperial Academies. Luke tells him that he's excited and can't wait to start his new life. When they land on Coruscant, as Luke is getting off the shuttle, he gets a weird feeling. He feels almost as if he has a connection to the planet, but he's not sure why because he's never left Tatooine before. Luke ends up getting accepted into the academy within the next couple days under the name Luke Lars and began his training as an Imperial Cadet. For the next month, Luke was number one in his class excelling at everything he did. He would easily complete the basic training courses almost two times as fast as the other cadets. His senses and reaction time were just far more superior than the other people there. Luke was able to leave the academy system and transfer to flight school after one month, the fastest anyone has ever done it. Flight school wasn't easy to get into. Only the top 5% of Navy cadets could even enter. During flight school, Luke was living on a Star Destroyer with all of the other pilots for training. As they started to actually fly the TIE Fighters, Luke was a natural from the moment he started. He was flying and maneuvering like no one has ever seen at the Academy. This is when his skills started to gain him attention in the Empire. His name started to spread throughout all different branches of the Empire, talking about how this is one of the best pilots they've ever seen. One night after training, Luke was sleeping in his bunk. The door to his room slides open slowly, waking him up. Standing in the door was the naval captain. He slowly starts walking over to Luke. Luke stands up with a confused look as the captain walks up to him. He says, Lars. Grab your things, you're leaving. Luke says, what? Where am I going? The captain takes a deep breath before looking at Luke and telling him, it seems your presence is requested on the Death Star. All right guys, that is going to do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like and subscribe down below for more stuff like this. Let me know your thoughts on this fan fiction in the comment section. I was thinking about making a part two possibly, so let me know if you guys would want to see that. And thank you guys for watching, and until next time, peace.